Today we're going to learn some photo shoot soft lighting effects in Adobe Photoshop. Now to achieve this, firstly we're going to enhance the image and sharpen the image and then we're going to be playing around with soft light and a couple of the other blending modes as well to make the image really stand out and to get a really good strong colour grading or, or a colour matching effect so the, the image just overall blends a little bit better. So to get us started just drag and drop the image that you want to use into Adobe Photoshop. I'm using this image from Wikipedia Creative Commons which I think is the promotion of an artist's new book or something along those lines but I really want to try and improve this image if I can. So firstly press Ctrl and J to make a duplicate of the background so you've got layer 1 in the layers panel. Panel. Then go over to Filter, Blur and select Gaussian or Gaussian Blur wherever you are around the world and you want to have the radius to say between 4 and 5 pixels. This is for keeping colour, It's not. we're not going to be using this for any sharpening or anything like that so bear that in mind while you're using the blur, it is simply for the colour so we want to take the edge off the image so I'm sticking with around about 5 pixels and that looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. So if we go back to the original, you can see that it's the original image and adding the soft light, it's really added a lot more colour, a lot more colour to the hair and to the dress as well. And we want to reduce the opacity down just a little bit because we don't want the effect to be that strong. So I'd say taking it down to, say about 50 actually, that, that yeah, roughly about 50% and that looks pretty good. So if we go back to the original and then we add the soft light blur, it looks a little bit better and there's a lot more contrast between the colours. Next, select the background layer and press Ctrl and J again to make a duplicate. And this time we want to desaturate it. So press Ctrl, Shift, and then hit U. And that will completely desaturate, well, not completely, but it'll desaturate the image most of the way for you. Then we're going to mess around with the levels. So press Ctrl and L to open up the levels panel. And what you've got is the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So if we brought up the shadows, it's going to increase the darks of the image, all of the shadows, to it'll completely take it out. Midtones, same again. You can go dark or you can go light on the midtones. And finally, you've got the highlights, which is obviously the, the whites of the image. So we want to increase the shadows just a little bit, just to add a bit more darkness to the image. Now, don't worry about going too far. Just take it to roughly where it starts to bump up a little bit and then bring the midtones down just to bring it back in again and then if you want to mess around with the highlights you can but I don't really need to I'm going to just keep it like that so just hit OK then change the blend mode again to soft light so if we drag this to the top now and then have a look at the difference between what happened before and adding this it's added a lot more contrast between the blacks and the whites in the image and it makes our eyes look a lot better and the skin does as well but we want to reduce the opacity again to about 50 because we don't want it to affect the image too much so we're starting to build the image up a little bit more but next we want to mess around with the high pass to add more detail to the image so do the same again go to the background and then press ctrl and j to make a duplicate so you've got background copy 2 and then just drag that to the top like so now same again desaturate so press ctrl shift and u to desaturate the image because we're not trying to affect the color and then go to filter other and select high pass. Now, if you've got the high pass too high, it's gonna really show in the image. So if you have the radius like up to, you know, all the way up here, it's gonna be way too much for the high pass. So you want it to be quite low. So you've not got too many of these like white spots because these are really gonna show through. So knock it down a little bit. I'd say to roughly about two or three or something along those lines. I'll try 2.5 and that looks pretty good to me, so I think I'm going to stick with 2.5, so just hit OK. Now on the high pass layer, change the blend mode to overlay. And again, just reduce the opacity, you don't need to reduce it too much, but I'd say take it to between 70 and 80, so 
if I go to about 75 see what that looks like by taking it off and then putting it back on you can see the difference especially in in a hair at the top up here you can see that it's sharpened it up I think I'll be able to go a little bit more with that actually so if I take it to 85 and just have a look around the writing on the book as well has been sharpened quite a lot so you can see that a bit more clearer now so I think I'll take it up to 90 it's not going to affect the image too much and then I will stick with that that looks pretty good to me now the next thing we're going to modify is the lighting of the image so as you can see it's a direct white light on front of on, on the front of the subject so just add a new layer on top and I'll I'll explain what I mean so press B on the keyboard firstly just to select your brush tool and then we'll move on from there so just have a look at what stands out on your image and for me the, the black didn't really stand out on this side it was this blue here and obviously the you know the pink of the dress that really stood out for me and the third color or the like the the cutoff point was the hair because it just looked completely different so when you're looking at you know the the focal point of this image which is obviously you know around this area here you can see that the colors they just don't match it's three three different colors which obviously it can be good in some cases but for me I wanted to have a blue glow going throughout the lighting which was quite similar to the blue on the book on the front and just to make it look a little bit different and you know mix the image up a little bit so hold alt on the keyboard to select the color that you want to add the brush lights to and I'm just going to select this blue here because it's a really nice blue and it's, it's sort of a mid-tone in the middle of the contrast between dark blue and white and then with your brush tool just increase the brush size by using the brackets under the plus and return key and make a pretty big or select a pretty big size so it just covers the subject of where you want the light to go so I think I'll move it up a little bit so the midpoint is roughly where a hair is and if you want to check where the midpoint is just hit the caps lock and then just move that and then press caps lock again and then it will move you back to your brush so when I select this the middle point or the hardest point of blue will go over a hair and then obviously build out lighter from there so using that is a, it's a pretty good trick to to find the central point of your brush now I want to change the opacity to color burn so at 100% this is a really really strong effect so obviously we're going to reduce this down but also we're going to mess around with the fill as well so if I take the fill down firstly to about 50% you can see that you get a really strong blue but the the blacks or the shadows of the image take it out a little bit too much and they go a little bit too dark so I want to keep this blue twang going you know across a hair but I need to reduce the opacity just to make sure that it's you know it's not too strong and it's not affecting it too much so if I take that to 60 and then turn that off and look at the original and look at you can just see the difference straight away that that now matches and it's even colored the book just a little bit more so it's not just a brown and a black it's now more blue throughout so it just it matches the image just a little bit more and you can do that wherever you want all over the image so if I hold alt again and then select this pink at the bottom I'll select a lighter pink actually and you can just add that wherever you want all over the image obviously it's entirely up to you but you can add that around wherever you want and I just wanted to show that effect on the hair but I'm not going to use it at the bottom I'm just going to keep it on the top like so so the next effect that you can add is corner lighting I'll show you how to change the lighting completely if it's if it's not up to your standard or if it's you know it's not where you want it to be so all you need to do is just make a new layer on top like so and then select the brush tool again so press B and I'm just going to change the colors back to black and white again so I know you know what I'm working with if you need to do that just press D on the keyboard and if you need to change between the two just hit X so it's a little color little color palette tutorial for you slipped in at the end there but yeah anyway if you want to add an overall blue going to pink light at the bottom I'm gonna make this myself instead of adding a gradient so I'll select a really light blue from the book again and then on the outside just 
click a couple of times just to bring it in and then make it a bit more solid around the edges and then just get the pink from here somewhere maybe I want to use a quite light pink actually so I'll modify that and just add that in around the sides I'm just going to keep it on that one side actually just to make it look like it's you know it's a whole lighting effect so just click that over on that side and then just change the blend mode to soft light and you can see that it brings in more lighting now from the from the right hand side so obviously you can tell a lot on this image because of the you know because of the dress and because of a head but if you add this on the right hand side it just adds a little bit more of a lighting effect and you can always go back while you've got the soft light blend mode applied and just try and enhance it just a little bit more you can change it to a white and that will really add you know a lot more light coming from that direction if I you know really press it too much it really adds a you know a really strong light from from that direction but again it's entirely up to you you can change the effects mess around with them and you can make you know get rid of one layer and then add another layer on top so you can make a lot of variations of your image so if I just get rid of this one because I just want to keep the one directly on the front that one there I'm just going to group them all together so press ctrl and left click on all of your layers apart from the background layer and then press ctrl and g to make a group if you turn the group off you can see the original image is there and then the one with the lighting effects added on with the blues and it's added a bit more to the colors and I think it makes the image look overall a little bit better and a hell of a lot sharper so if you like this video guys please like share and subscribe and don't be a pencil